meteorologist Brie Eggers joins us now. And Brie, we were talking about this pleasant weather earlier, but some changes are coming yeah, too, right? Yeah, some big changes. We really need to have a heads up on what's on the way overnight tonight and in through the morning tomorrow, sort of that first winter driving event could be in store for us for the morning commute Wednesday morning. Skycam 7 showing a beautiful fall like shot, giving us, you know, snow up through Schaefer Butte, Bogus Basin, giving us hopes for the season to come and still some beautiful fall colors to enjoy here around the trees in that horizon. Current temperatures in the upper 40s, but this is all the warmer that it gets really for the rest of the week and perhaps even through the rest of the month or the rest of the season. How about one to four inches of snow? The potential is there. Now it's all in timing how Quickly, our temperatures will cool, but the National Weather Service went ahead and issued a winter weather advisory for southeastern Oregon, all of the Treasure Valley, lower Treasure Valley, down through the upper Treasure Valley, and of course the west central and central mountains as well for the potential of some accumulating snow and winter driving conditions as we make our way through tomorrow morning. So here is the system that's making its way into our region. It is dragging behind it some much colder air, changing things to be very winter like, and that's why it starts out as rain in this mild southwesterly flow, but then will eventually change over to snow in the overnight hours. Now the big key here is how early in the overnight or early morning Wednesday hours that this happens. This changeover happens because if it happens around midnight or 1 a.m., we've got a couple more hours of snow falling to accumulate in valley surfaces. Timeline through the overnight hours, at least with this particular forecast model, is making a mix of rain and snow around midnight and then sometime between 1 and 2 2 a.m. is when we see that flip over to snow. Now you see these separate surface temperatures remaining just above the freezing mark. That also is key. So I think the roads, the main roads, especially interstate as well as, you know, Eagle and Fairview will remain mainly wet. Most of that slushy accumulation will be on grassy surfaces, but you can tell there's a lot to talk about when it comes to just the next 12 to 24 hours. We'll get that seven day forecast coming up in a little bit as well.